Well, I would say the best way to describe this October weekend is dry yet cold. Pretty yeah. cold. Yeah, it's going to be pretty chilly, especially in the mornings where we're looking at the potential for some frost. Different than those 70 degree days we just had, but there will be sunshine at least. Not like today where it's very cloudy, it's gloomy. Our high temperature was at midnight of 58 degrees. We're now at 53 degrees and we have those winds out of the north northwest at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. That's with that cold front that's pushing through. So behind that cold front, cooler air settling in. 53 degrees and we're just going to stay steady into those low to mid 50s through the rest of the evening. By the time we get to midnight, we're still in the upper 40s, but then overnight tonight those clouds clear out. Clouds won't act as a blanket, keeping us warmer. We'll have clear skies, calm winds, so those temperatures are going to drop. Right now we're already in the upper 40s for Franklin at 49 degrees, 54 in Washington, 54 in Butler. We did have a few stray showers early on this morning for areas north of Pittsburgh, only lasted about 5 to 10 minutes. Nothing severe expected, no really heavy to moderate rainfall, but we just have some light showers in downtown Pittsburgh. So if you are heading out for lunch, just keep the umbrella close by. Some of these you'll be able to dodge, but just in case, just keep that umbrella close by again. When, especially if your kids are heading off the bus later on, hopefully you pack that umbrella in the backpack. So here's that frontal boundary that's moving through. You can see those showers behind it. A lot of those are breaking up and dissipating. So by the time we get to later on tonight, we'll be drying out, but we just have a spotty shower right along I-70 in Washington County. County and a little bit into Westmoreland County, also into Indiana. It's just some light showers even in the southern parts of Butler County. So this will be the trend throughout this evening. So if you notice the timestamp, we still have that chance at about three, four o'clock. By the time we get to overnight tonight for Friday night football, things look dry. Areas north have a better chance of a light shower, but more so just a sprinkle or two because we're going to have some drier air filter in. High pressure builds back in for the weekend. Saturday sunny but chilly. Highs only in the mid 50s. And then by Sunday, we're going to make a run back to 60 degrees, but we will have sunshine and stay dry. So for pit homecoming tomorrow, we're looking at sunny skies, temperatures into the mid 50s, just going to be a very cold start. We're going to have frosty conditions Saturday and Sunday, possibly especially Sunday morning with those lows back into the mid 30s. By Monday, we'll rebound back into the low 40s. Chance for rain, not really there. So by the time we get to midweek, that chance will return, but the drier weather will also help those fall foliage colors peak. So the Steelers at the Bills, if you're heading there on Sunday, plenty of sunshine, staying in the upper 50s. Looking at our seven day forecast back home, mid 50s on Saturday, 61 on Sunday, near normal Monday, mostly sunny. Our lows get a lot better, 69 on Tuesday, plenty of sunshine, mostly cloudy on Wednesday. We're back in the 70s. And then we'll have a scattered shower around Thursday with highs in the mid 60s.